about today. It's a wonderful 62 degrees. Wouldn't you believe it? And it's only, what is today? Sunday, March 3rd. This video is about updates. Carnivore diet updates. We will be getting the results for the month of February today. So we remember we in January, as recorded as of uh, February 3rd, we lost roughly five and a half pounds. So we are down to 41 pounds, I believe. 341 that is. So we are down to 341 and we want to know if today's update is going to get us any good results. I mean, first off, I want to know if I actually lost weight, right? I say, I don't know. I'm always scared. Every time I have to step on that scale, um, I'm worried. Seriously, I'm worried. I don't know if I lost weight or not. Um, you know, if you're my size, uh, you know, you, you don't notice five pounds either way, right? It's, uh, it's not that... It's not that, not that easy, you know. Some people say, like, "Yeah, but you meet, know it in your clothing, or maybe how you feel." It's like that. Nah, it, it's like I feel like shit every day, uh, and my clothing is already loose uh, because it's the only clothing I feel comfortable in because I'm fat. I mean, let's let's just be honest here. So, how much did I lose? Did I lose at all? Did I gain, right? Or is this going to be a doozy like December where I gained? three pounds or whatever that was all right we're getting closer to the park all right I can see people walking already I'm not gonna show you because uh, people. someone is actually barbecuing I can see the smoke probably gonna smell delicious too ah oh, this is the worst this is the fucking worst there is one dude sitting right where I want to set up my camera overlooking the entire fucking parking lot on the opposite side where everybody else is what a fucking douchebag I can't fucking stand this mother and he's smoking a cigar so he probably thinks, oh, this fucks up everything. Oh. He probably thinks, oh, he's away from people so he can smoke a cigar. And that's why, you know, he's there. Um, out of the way. God, I hate this. <sighs> not happy, not happy at all. <sighs> anyway. You're still there, right? Are you still watching? Really like to hear what I have to say, or do you just want to take notes and say like, okay, this guy is wrong on so many levels. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. What do you think? Tell me in the comments what you're thinking. I like to hear it. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm right. Don't make it blanket statements. Be specific. Blanket statements don't help anyone. Anyway. Time to get into the back, get the scale out, get my fat ass on the scale to see the damage. I need to brush my teeth too. We are taking the scale out. And there's batteries in here. I always take the batteries out of the scale so they don't deplete. These are the batteries that came with the scale. They are usually not full, full batteries. Um, so in order to preserve the batteries, you know, they, they say like, oh, that's a lifespan of, I don't know, two years or something, right? And I was like, yeah, but that's only if you step on your scale every fucking day and if you leave the batteries in. But because I take the batteries out and only step on the scale once a month, these very same batteries should last me a long time, possibly longer than the scale itself. Is there anyone here? No. No people. Good. Okay. Right, 
from this leaf. So the scale is at zero, right? Set already. There you go. Let's try one more time. Maybe when I'm holding the camera, it gets off. Let's try it one more time. This other camera pointing at it. 344. That's it. If you want to talk about this. Okay. Gonna turn the fan on a little bit over here. Already. You saw the numbers. 344. 340.4. Sorry. That is the number. For the months of February without cheating I lost 0.6 pounds a little bit more than half a pound you know what half a pound is half of this package is half a pound and you might say that's well that's that's it's still good I'm thirsty. You know how I can eliminate half a pound weight loss? If I drink this bottle of water, I would have zero weight loss. Wow. I was expecting better than that. Wow. So let's take a quick inventory of what we had last month, or the January. In January I ate pork chops every day, two and a quarter pounds. And I ate a stick of butter every day. In February, I ate ground beef every day and no butter um, because for the most part I ate I, I ate exactly this combo and for the most part I ate it with um, without even cooking it I was eating it raw and because of that well, no, nothing is because of that. I was eating it raw. Now, you could question, is that the reason why I didn't lose weight? You know, that's a good question. Maybe I'm going to redo February in March. And I'm going to be eating the same meat plus some butter. But I cook it. Now, at a minimum, we can say that the carnivore diet is perfect to maintain the weight. <laughs> that is the positive we are taking out of this one. So the carnivore diet can be perfect for maintaining weight. The problem is I'm not in the process of maintaining weight. I'm in the process of losing weight this is a bummer man god i hate it when shit like this happens it's not making me happy at all so it's it's essentially zero weight loss okay. 
I can't say that I overate. I ate two and a quarter pounds of meat. It's, that's it's not a ton of food. That is 0.7 pounds per meal. It's that's actually reasonable. It's probably low. Why don't I lose weight? I don't want to drink the water. The water's for the egg cooker. <laughs> I want to drink the seltzer. Seltzer is for Uncle Phil. So, so why did I lose weight? Honestly, I cannot tell you. Now, I can tell you something else. I move very little. I need to move more, right? I don't burn additional calories, which might be why my body thinks that you're doing okay. And my body doesn't have a need to burn extra because I'm getting all of my calories from the food that I'm eating. I mean, this is normal anyway, but... What I mean is, when you look like on the Apple, uh, what's the app called? The health app, whatever it is. The calories are counted in two separate categories. One is uh, from actual movement and the other one is like a base level burning of calories that is just to support your body your heart beating your pop, your blood pumping your brain functioning right that burns energy too and for the most part the only walking that I actually do and I'm only talking about walking the only walking that I do is going to the grocery store from the parking lot, picking out my food and going back to the car. Uh, and when I go to the gym, I'm walking from the car to the gym and then back to the car. So I burn extremely few additional calories. And while I don't but I don't try to, you know, like I'm not a runner. I have a hip replacement, right? I've got uh, bad knees, hips, arm joints. But I've got to incorporate some kind of movement. Right? I could be walking. For all we care, I could be just walking around the park every day for 20 minutes. That alone might be enough to jumpstart my my weight loss. Just losing half a pound is bad. That's bad, and that's on one meal a day. That's like that's almost like not losing weight at all. I mean, like I said, um, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, it's great if you want to maintain your weight. But I'm not there. I need to lose weight. I need to be physically more active. And I think, you know, before I, well, I, I used to work in the restaurant industry and delis and stuff. <clears throat> and instead of, you know, I was, I, was, I was on my feet for 10 hours a day, 12 hours moving. I mean, at a minimum, I'm on my feet, right? When I started driving for Uber eight years ago, I went from a standing position to a sitting position. And ever since, uh, also because of course I'm living in my car, I don't move much. Going shopping and going to the gym is the only times I actually move, uh, which is very little. Uh, <laughs> in my last job, actually, I, I made, an, uh, made a fun of it, uh, of movement, if you want. Um, so when we needed to get supplies or something that come from the basement, I would make the point that I'm going to get the supplies because I wanted to a move a little bit, but I wanted to do the stairs. I wanted to go to the stairway up and down, up and down, up and down. Right. So I do this several times. I said, yeah, no problem. I do it. I'm like, why do you do that? It's like, yeah, you know, look at my app. You know, look at look at all the steps I'm putting in. 
Why did I get so many stairs climbed? Uh, yeah. And I went from that environment to completely sitting and doing nothing. So I need to incorporate movement so I can lose this weight, I think. That's the only thing that I can think of that makes actually sense. Now, in general, exercise is recommended, obviously. But I would be, I would think that at 340 pounds, ooh, the eggs already, already. You would think that at 340 pounds, um, you would be losing more weight, right? But here's the crazy part. If, if this amount of food without carbohydrates whatsoever keeps me at a level then can you imagine how much weight I would gain if I was eating a normal diet I would be eat, I would get gaining a lot of weight every month if this diet of two and a quarter pounds of meat sustains me any of the bad food would just just skyrocket my my weight uh, I guess this is not a good day um, we might consider this a total failure ha losing half a pound is not it's not good enough it's not acceptable enough that is as much as just drinking a glass of water if drinking a glass of water makes a difference in us measuring or not measuring weight loss, then we have lost no weight. It sucks. Now, some people might say, well, yeah, well, you didn't eat any fat this time, so maybe that's why you didn't lose weight. Last month, I ate a stick of butter every day. And this month, I essentially ate no butter at all. So I definitely ate fewer calories this month than last month. Yet I lost five and a half pounds last month. I don't get it. I, I honestly, I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong over here. Should I add the butter back into it? Is that what helps me lose weight? Well, I'm having 80-20 beef too. There's plenty of fat in the beef. This is like a puzzle, right? There's a lot of different pieces and you try to put them together. And, uh, you know, like pieces that work for someone else don't necessarily work for you. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure out what the best combo is for me to lose weight. I guess some form of movement needs to be part of the equation. Gotta figure something out here. And if you want to know how the saga continues, you will have to stay tuned for the next video update. Until then, peace out, homies.